guys, my name is Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about four pattern tests that I have been involved in within the month of May. Now I have absolutely loads of makes <laughs> to show you. I have been crafting my little socks off during lockdown. Um, I'm sure like lots of you, I'm re I've been really grateful for having an indoor creative kind of productive hobby uh, during this time. And <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to show you. So I thought I would talk to you about all of my pattern tests that I've been involved with because all of the makes are now, like, all of the patterns are now live. I do have some more pattern tests that I'm involved in at the minute so there'll be more to talk to you about soon but I thought it would be a really nice way of showing you some new sewing patterns that I was lucky enough to test. So we'll start with what I'm wearing. This is the first make that I sewed so that makes sense. Now this is the Made It Patterns next release which is called the Rest, the Rest Vest. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that there. The Rest Vest. Now Made It Patterns make the Hug Hoodie which was my first test for them and they're all about the cosy life. They're about comfortable clothing with unusual style lines and that's pretty much my bag so <laughs> I was quite happy to be asked to test again for them. The rest vest is a casual loungewear, sportswear, activewear, racerback vest top that has an unusual style line. So it doesn't have a side seam. The seam comes from the kind of the back of the arm side down towards the front, the centre front of the hem. So I'll pop in the style lines here and I'll pop in the couple of versions that I've made. Um, the pattern comes up to a size 20 and I did make the size 20, although the 18 does fit me fine as well. Um, the first one I made, which is this one, was a size 20 straight and the second one I made I grated down to the 18 at the hips, but um, I quite like the lo loose fit of the 20. Now it's an easy make, um, it does get a tiny bit fiddly, I mean fiddly is probably the wrong word, but you do have to figure out which layer of which goes where <laughs> um, when you're attaching everything at the back. I'll have popped in some pictures of of the back. Now the pattern does not come with the back as a colour block but I colour blocked my first version mostly due to fabric requirements. Um, I wanted a really drapey uh, jersey and I don't actually have a lot of like viscose jerseys in my stash um, and I thought plain was quite a good like a solid colour was quite a good um, route to go for this. And these are actually the first three stretch fabrics that I ever bought. So I bought these in a remnants, well, no, it wasn't a remnant sale. It was a sale at Remnant Kings in Glasgow. It was a 199 a meter table. And I had only just started to think about <laughs> sewing with stretch fabrics. So I um, bought a couple of meters of each of these and I had little bits left in my, in my stash from them. So I thought I would use them up. So it's quite a nice way of doing it. And the only other alteration I have made to the pattern is that the pattern comes with armhole bindings. So the armhole bindings are not supposed to be visible. But because I'd already colour blocked, <laughs> I thought that adding bands would be a really cool way of like doubly highlighting the um, colour blocking opportunities in this pattern. And I've done that for both of the versions that I've made. Um, I've used obviously different colours to match the bottom pieces and yeah I just I, I like that the only thing you have to do for that alteration is to remove um the width of the band um from from the edge so that it doesn't stick out too much further now it is a racer back so you can see your bra straps while wearing this I don't mind this particularly for kind of loungewear um I mean let's be honest I'm not wearing a bra with it most of the time but uh, if you wanted to have your straps hidden you'd have to be wearing a racer racer brack racer brack bra oh I'm struggling with words today <laughs> um so I've made this one in in the solid fabrics and then it so reminded me of a superhero vest when I was wearing it and taking photos that I decided I would add a superhero-esque motif so the, the next day um, Dora does who is a crochet pattern designer and vlogger and blog vlogger blogger um who just creates really lovely beginner friendly crochet patterns for garments and is really supportive of 
newbies sewing sewing crocheting hooking and um, garments uh, put a link up to a tutorial of hers to make a lightning bolt and it was for uh it was for like a david bowie-esque costume that she was doing but i thought it fitted the superhero vibe perfectly and if i'm honest i love this top i wear it all the time it's super comfy and super cool when it's been really hot working from home my next version was an ice dye version. I thought that the border print cotton jersey ice dye that I'd done would be a really good way of highlighting those style lines. So I put the front with the ice dye going from the bottom up and then the back with the ice dye going from the bottom, the top down. And so you got this real clear line where the style line was. And I I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. I think it will be really cute with little shorts in the summer and it will be really cute with dungarees as well because you'll be able to see that style line on the side of the dungarees which I think will look really cool but um, it's mostly just been worn around the house at the minute with shorts or jeans even to be honest but yeah so the rest vest by Made It Patterns there's a link down below of how to find all of these patterns so do go check them out if you're interested so the next pattern test I was involved in was for Experimental Space. Now Experimental Space is a sewing pattern company run by Andrea who lives in the UK and she has really really beautiful patterns. They all have something slightly unusual about them which we know that I like <laughs> and the lily top is no exception. So I've actually made another one of Andrea's patterns recently, which I'll be talking to you about soon, but the pattern test was the lily top and it's the first pattern that she has released in her extended sizing range. Now I was right at the very top of the size range for her original chart to the point where I wasn't that comfortable sewing a woven make of hers, um, but I sewed the jersey um, pattern in the original sizing. And it was fine um, but I was really excited that this was being released in the extended sizing range so I think so her sizes go in letters so they used to go from A to G and now they go from A to L I think or is it K it might be K and um, and I sewed the the G at the shoulders and then the H everywhere else and this is a really cute top, woven top with bust darts that um, has an unusual style line in the seam is not at the shoulder, it comes forwards into the dolman sleeve and has a little cuff and then you highlight the style line um, with a really lovely little ruffle. Now I'm not usually a massive ruffle girl but this is a little ruffle <laughs> and it's kind of cute because it just runs all the way around the um the style line now i made my one up in a viscose twill you kind of want to make this up in something quite drapey um and then i used a viscose for the uh for the, for the frill i think that this the tester versions for this have been really really awesome because some people have done beautiful patterned versions where the, the main top is patterned and they've kept that for the style line which makes it quite subtle I went for a plain body, um, bright teal body <laughs> of the top and then a polka dot ruffle which I thought was really cool and um, yeah I'm, re I'm really really pleased with it and I've, I've, got, I've got quite a lot of wear out of it already. It's got a nice neckline, it's quite a low neckline um, and it uses binding for, for the neckline um, it uses binding that you make from the fabric for, for the top. You could use store-bought binding. I think if you were using something really drapey, you just have to make sure it wasn't too stiff and too kind of heavy for the fabric. Andrea's instructions are really clear and um, teaches you how to do the ruffle shuffle if you're not used to gathering too much. And I would definitely go and check that top out because I think it's a really versatile one. I've actually decided that you could highlight that style line in lots of ways. You don't have to use a ruffle or a gather piece if you don't want to. You can buy trims that you could add to that seam. So I've actually bought some pom-pom trim and I'm going to make like a festival beach wear holiday type top um, that will highlight that style line in a, in a quite fun and 
not ruffly way. <laughs> I love the ruffle on the one I've got, but I'm probably not going to make loads of ruffly ones. Um, I also saw while I was looking some fringe trim, and I thought you could make a really like vintage style one in a like a plain. You know, you had a solid color top, and then like a cream trim fringe um around that style line would look really cool so yeah andrea also has the most beautiful pattern packaging and the lily is no exception so yeah do go check that out um the next garment that i made for a pattern test was the whitney dress by ak patterns who that, that's run by athena cuckoo now um i'm sure lots of you will have already seen the release of the whitney uh, top and dress it is named after Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery and she has spoken about it on her channel so go and check out her video which I'll link below as well and it's AK Patterns name all of their patterns after somebody in the sewing community and the the Whitney dress was obviously no exception and it was really lovely to be asked to test for this pattern now this pattern is a wrap dress for jersey makes which has five different cup size options for all of its size range yeah it's a it's a good inclusive pattern um so you there's an a a b a c a d and a double d i sewed the size 20c and it fit me lovely um the depending on which cup size you choose there are bust darts and also waist darts to give a really good fit but the real like star of the show, um, other than amazing fit and great size inclusivity, is um, the scallop neckline. So that's what pulls it apart from other uh, wrap dresses, and it's really cute. <laughs> it's it's um, again like scallop neckline. I wouldn't have necessarily said was my style, but I'm dreaming up loads of versions of it. So I made up my version in a firework cotton jersey, which was actually from Joanne's, but I bought on Facebook from someone in the UK. Um, I bought it to make myself a birthday dress last year because I am born on fireworks night in November so I bought it to make myself a dress and then um didn't <laughs> so I um thought it would be a really nice one now I got this pattern out of two meters of fabric Um, I made the short sleeves if I'd have wanted longer sleeves I, I would have needed more and I lengthened the skirt by a couple of centimeters as well and I'm really pleased with it. It's a style that is slightly different for me, but it's something that I'm trying to do at the minute is try out different styles that I've kind of always thought aren't for me. But I think the reason I think they aren't, they aren't for me is because they're, they, they've never fit me very well. <laughs> and I can actually make things fit me well now. So um, I, I say that with some confidence, but you know, <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, and I am making up a version with a contrast scalloped neckline at the minute which i will be showing you guys soon now the pattern also comes as a top or as a dress so you can yeah make what you want i'm not don't usually wear wrap tops so um like peplums peplum tops are not really my style but um they look really cute on everyone that i have seen versions of so definitely go check out the pattern there's loads of versions of it sewn up on the website as well as on instagram so go and check it out now, the last pattern test I did was sort of more of a pattern review, I guess, than a pattern test. Um, so it's a pattern that is already released. It's the Althea Skirt by Dovetailed London. Dovetailed are a shop specialising in African wax fabrics and they have a really good selection. Um, and they also sell their own sewing patterns. And the Althea Skirt is a really great beginner sewing pattern. In fact, all of their patterns are, are kind of beginner friendly. Um, and they're all really good to use African wax fabric for. But you don't have to, you can use whatever fabric you want. <laughs> so um, Adaku at uh, Dovetailed has just been updating um, the pattern and she sent it out to a few people to kind of review and get feedback on. And she's also extended the size range. So um, the patterns go up to a size 20 or an, no, an 18 in the paper pattern, but up to a 26 in the um, PDF pattern. I made the size 20, 22. I made the size 22. Um, but this is a really simple skirt pattern with pockets designed to gather at the waist with an elastic um, waistband. And yeah, just nice kind of easy 
to sew pattern it's a longer skirt than i normally go for so i normally go for a knee length skirt but as i said i'm trying new styles at the minute and i do have a couple of dresses that have ended up accidentally below my knee recently and i've quite liked it and then i saw a really cool version um, by that lena king on instagram and her version was awesome it was a midi length skirt paired with sneakers and a denim jacket and i thought yep that's what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna shorten mine i'm gonna make it that length and i did and i really like it the only change that i made was to anchor the um, pockets at the waist seam because i prefer that so that i can load them up with my phone and my keys and my purse and whatever else i happen to be carrying around with me so <laughs> i like to anchor my um my pockets at the waist but anyway really good pattern for a beginner so that's what i've been up to for pattern testing in may thank you so much guys i've had loads of really really lovely comments and messages in the last few weeks which have been so lovely to read um so yeah keep the compliments coming in <laughs> is what i'm trying to say um thanks so much for watching guys until next time bye